Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Language and Life Skills. I am Matthew Matigani. The topic today for us is time related words. Time, time related words and expressions. We are all bound by the boundaries of time between our birth and our death. And time plays an important part in our lives. Let us see today some phrases words and expressions related to time. We begin the first one, a Latin expression, extempore. Extempore means without previous preparation. It is done on the spot. Someday you are asked to speak extempore at a birthday party or at a social. What will help you in this is your wide reading and gender knowledge. Also at certain speech competitions, you will not be given the topics before. You will have to pick it on the spot and speak extempore. Second expression, impromptu. Impromptu. Another Latin expression. It is similar to the first one, extempore. Impromptu means without preparation and rehearsal. What is a off the cuff? Something done on, done on the spot. For example, a sentence. I made an impromptu suggestion to honor the singer with a shawl. Or, the visiting musician played a piece impromptu at the request of the audience. Third phrase, in the nick of time. In the nick of time means just at the crucial or critical moment, not before, not after. One or two sentences. I saw the desperate young man ready to jump before the speeding train, and in the nick of time, I pushed him back. Or, I arrived at the railway station in the nick of time, as my train was blowing its starting whistle. If I was a second late, it would have gone. Posthumous Award Posthumous Award is an award given to you after your death. This happens because sometimes you were not recognized during your life. Your worth was realized after this. Or at other times, it, occurs, it is because of political reasons. A new party comes to power and they want to honor those who were belonging to that party. So there are various reasons for giving a posthumous award. A sentence, the brave army general who died in an airplane crash was awarded a posthumous medal for bravery. You cannot give it to him before, so it is done after his death. Another phrase, postpone. Postpone means to put off something to a later later, reschedule it, to have it uh, some other time. Some examples, with the heavy rains, the exams were postponed. Or in politics, Unpopular taxes will be postponed till after the elections. The opposite of postpone is anticipate. Nowadays also prepone is allowed. Postpone and prepone. Next one, procrastinate. Another word from Latin. In Latin, cross means tomorrow. And procrastinate means to put off to tomorrow. That is what many of us like. Don't do it today. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow never comes. Procrastination of study is a trademark of easy going and lazy students. They study tomorrow on the eve of the examination. And there is a beautiful proverb which expresses this idea. Procrastination is the thief of time. Procrastination is the thief of time. You go on postponing things and you lose so much time. 
let's come back to those things after this. The seventh one, sine die. Sine die. That is the anglicized pronunciation. It is from Latin. If you want the original Latin pronunciation, it is sine die. Sine die, which means without a day, literally. It is a technical term for adjourning a meeting or an assembly without fixing a particular day for returning. So, such an expression is called adjourning an assembly or a meeting sine die. Example, Parliament was adjourned sine die by the speaker at the end of the monsoon session. You don't know when the next session begins. Another example, the acrimonious board meeting was adjourned by the chairman sine die. Next, biannual and biennial. Of course, all of you know what is annual. It is yearly. Biannual means twice a year. And biennial means once in two years. Biannual, two times a year. Biennial, once in two years. Some uh, model sentences. Universities in general have biannual semesters. Like have two semesters in a year. Generally, mango trees yield a bumper harvest biennially. They give a bumper harvest every other year. Not every year. It is true also of some other trees. Another example, the biennial celebrations can take place in odd or even years. Next and last, centennial and millennial. Again, words coming from Latin. Centennial celebrating 100 years and millennial celebrating 1000 years. Centennial and millennial. Some sentences. All institutions like to hold grand centennial celebrations. But very few businesses will survive to their millennial year of foundation. They will die out on the way. Let me conclude this uh, presentation with a humorous quote about lie and truth and how fast they travel. This is from the favorite humorist Mark Twain. How does it go? A lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is putting on its shoes. Once more, a lie can travel halfway around the world while truth is putting on its shoes. So lies spread so fast and truth much more slowly like atrocious. So friends, I hope you like this uh, presentation on various expressions about time. If you did, please subscribe. Bye. See you another time. Bye.